Hey, Mr. A, do you know what sucks? Being cold. And what sucks even more than that is when you're cold and you don't have enough funds to keep your living space appropriately warmed, uh, heated. So um, I've been doing some research on the, uh, the hobo stove, hobo heater, as they're called, from back in the day during the Depression. And uh, I wanted to show you real quickly how I have uh, figured out uh, for me for camping, but the ideal way to create your own very inexpensive uh, hobo stove heater and it uses uh, of all things rubbing alcohol let's check it out first thing you want to do is get you a gigantic seafood steamer this is one of the splatterware and uh, they have this uh, spacer inside of it and the lid I got this used at a thrift shop and uh, this is already cooking but I'm gonna show you the steps I took very briefly but first thing you need to do is get you a seafood steamer and something you can set it on. Mine's sitting on the carpet right now, but I've got it on this aluminum uh, sifter just to dissipate the heat. And this thing is absolutely cooking, and as I mentioned, it's using isopropyl alcohol. Let me show you the uh, concept. Rubbing alcohol is super cheap, uh, and you wanna use 70%. I happened to uh, run into a Dollar General and they did not have it, so I got one of each, and uh, I just mix it up about equally, so I get that 70% ratio. But all you need is uh, rubbing alcohol and a small metal cup to put it in, as well as uh, like a coffee filter or a napkin for a fuse. Let me show you. I just said for a fuse, I meant for a wick. Um, when I wanna heat a little bit longer, I use a larger cup. This is an old antique tin cup. And I just pour in half and half of the, uh, the alcohol up to about, you know, just below the line. I don't want it to be all the way up to the top. And then I'll set it right in the middle of this, of my kettle. Right now, what I've got running, this is actually what I was gonna say for, if I know I'm not gonna be here or need the heat for hours on end, I'll go to a smaller container. This is one of those gel heaters uh, cups. I used the gel heater and since have been using it for the short periods. Again, filling it with alcohol and that's got a coffee filter that's acting as the wick. The small canisters each last approximately one hour. I can get this about two hours. And I'm gonna tell you, and then this did not come with the setup. This is a, just a wire rack I have from a, a, a toaster oven, a spare toaster oven. When you flip this over, you could put cast iron on this and cook on this thing, okay? And it's emanating all the way through the room. You can feel the heat uh, and it's very inexpensive. Probably if you bought this steamer new, along with the alcohol and some, uh, you know, get you a rack, some sort of wire rack to create, because you want that air circulation. I've got the uh, cup right in the center of that. So you're probably under 30 bucks for this heater that you can use, and you don't have fume issues either. You don't have to worry about carbon monoxide or any of that, uh, although it is still a good idea to keep a window cracked. I have the door cracked because it's so freaking hot now. I have a regular heater going, but this is just experimentation for when I go camping. I like to uh, have it all ready and uh, stocked up. I hope this helps you in some way. I'm Mr. 8. Please subscribe and give the uh, video a like. And if you have some cold, broke friends, share this with them. Have a good day.